Thank you so much, and welcome to my lecture recital. This evening I'm going to discuss and perform four compositions by Dave Douglas for the Tony Bell Trio. Dave Douglas is a critically acclaimed American trumpeter, composer, and band leader. He's on the forefront of a generation of musicians whose primary training and background is in jazz, but who've moved beyond mainstream jazz to create music that synthesizes elements of European classical, avant-garde, and world music. The Tiny Bell Trio, consisting of Douglas on trumpet, Brad Shepik on guitar, and Jim Black on percussion and drums, is a primary example of Douglas's musically inclusive vision. The music for the Tiny Bell Trio is described by Douglas as Balkan improvisations, and was influenced by folk music, but from Greece, Serbia, Romania, Bulgaria, and Macedonia. The ensemble grew out of a weekly engagement at the Bell Cafe in Lower Manhattan in the uh, 1990s, where Douglas played Romanian folk tunes in a duo with his then wife on accordion. After the two divorced, Douglas reformulated the group by adding Shepik and Black. This new trio continued to play Eastern European inspired music. However, over time, Douglas expanded the group's repertoire by composing original pieces inspired by the traditional forms and also drawing on the musician's jazz roots. The name, the Tony Bell Trio, is a sardonic reference to the cramped quarters at the Bell Cafe. In 1994, the Tony Bell Trio played a series of well-received concert and club performances in Europe that was booked by Douglas himself. And after returning to the United States, the trio played only once more at the Bell Cafe before ending this long-standing engagement to pursue a higher profile touring schedule. From 1994 to 2000, the Tiny Bell Trio performed internationally and released four critically acclaimed albums. In these original compositions for the Tiny Bell Trio, Douglas primarily synthesized Eastern European folk and free jazz. However, he also applied elements of traditional jazz, classical harmony, and postmodernist compositional techniques. In each composition, Douglas combined these various musical components in a different way creating a collection of pieces that has great variety within a unified concept. In describing the music for the Tiny Bell Trio, Dave Douglas has stated, quote, these pieces are meant to be, not meant to be simply reproduced, but to be a living music that transforms and grows with each new performance. Douglas composed for the Tiny Bell Trio without the intention of other musicians performing his music, and as such, many of the musical details were left unnoted unnotated, and as is the tradition in jazz and folk music, the compositions evolved throughout years of rehearsal and performance. This process leaves each written score as a record of Douglas's original concept, rather than the notation of a finished composition. Now this presents the trumpeter who wishes to perform these compositions with a daunting task. To perform the pieces as the composer intended requires an in-depth knowledge of the compositional structure and an identification and familiarity with the various musical influences that Douglas synthesized in each composition. These compositions are very demanding on the trumpeter, and in addition to being technically challenging to execute, the pieces require the ability to improvise fluently in a variety of tonalities, meters, and musical forms, many of which are quite different from traditional jazz and classical repertoire. To further complicate the issue, only three compositions for the Tiny Bell Trio have yet been published, which leaves oral transcription from the recordings as the only option to perform the unpublished works. The purpose of my research is to aid the trumpeter in performing these compositions by providing an analysis of the stylistic influences for each piece and outlining the implications of this information on the performer. Tonight's program will focus primarily on the stylistic foundations and musical construction of the pieces, though I will include some notes uh, on the performance as well. As I continue this study in my final research document, I will expand upon the performance guide to include transcriptions and analyses of Douglas's improvisations, as well as exercises to be used by the trumpeter in preparing this music. In my research, I've been granted access by Dave Douglas to his original manuscripts and to his compositional sketchbooks, 
which I have used in combination with a study of his recorded performances to create a computer-generated score for each piece that best reflects the final evolution of the compositions. To better understand Douglas's adaptation of Balkan music, I have interviewed the composer to learn what specific folk forms influenced each piece, and then I performed a stylistic analysis to determine how Douglas utilized the source material in his original compositions. This process has greatly informed my performance of this music. Douglas also suggested to me that musicians who are interested in performing his compositions should use his recordings as a performance model and then uh, feel free and in fact be encouraged to alter and adapt the pieces to suit the musical personalities of the performers and the performing circumstances. By approaching the music this way, the performers will remain true not only to the musical content of the compositions, but also to the creative and the collaborative process that is integral to the identity of Douglas's music. Preparing the music in this way has provided tremendous insight into the performance practice of the Tiny Bell Trio, which is essential to the understanding of the music due to the improvisatory and experimental nature of these compositions. Tonight's program will include a performance of four unpublished compositions, and prior to playing each piece, I will discuss and demonstrate the stylistic attributes folk roots, and performance considerations. Joining me tonight to perform this music are guitarist Adam Larrabee and drummer Brian Caputo. <laughs> 